Okay, so in this video on uh, second order differential equations, we're looking at substitutions for x again. This is the uh, second video on this particular subtopic. Um, we've got a question here. We're looking at using a substitution x equals ln t to transform this this monstrosity of an equation, this this beast, into um, this much nicer equation. And you can see what's happened is all the x's have gone, and we've now got t's. Um, so as we said before in the first video, the hard part of this isn't replacing these x's here, these like, three x's you may call them, uh, because that's very easy, you just plug in what they are. Um, the hard thing is getting rid of these dy dx's, and the even hard thing is getting rid of this d2y dx squared. Uh, we've got to use a chain rule and the product rule to do that. Let's start with the uh, dy dx then as we did before. And we're trying to get rid of x's and get in t's. So, um, we will swap out the dx for a dt, but in doing so, if you use a chain rule and times by dt dx to keep everything the same, these cancel and we're left with dy dx. So, we need to compute what this dt dx is, um, and my preferred way of doing this is usually to take the substitution you've been given and just differentiate it the wrong way around if you like. Differential of ln t dt is 1 over t. Uh, and then we can get dt dx by simply flipping this to get that. And that is done. So we can plug this thing over here. That's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, dt dx is just t. And that's the first bit done. We've now got uh, dy dx in terms of y's and t's. Uh, the second bit, we'll start a new line because we know it's going to be a long line. Uh, we're trying to work out what dt so d2y dx squared is in terms of y and t. So that's really the dy dx differentiated a second time. We will uh, try and get rid of the dx's. So we're plugging what we know dy dx is in terms of t. It's uh, dy over dt times by t from down here. And then we've got to change this for a dt to get rid of that x. Of course, in doing so, we're using a chain rule. We've got times by dt uh, dx, just like we did over here. Uh, I would usually, if I was you, or if I was me, which I am, I would usually not do that bit there first, but just change this thing for what you know it is. Um, just six things nicer. And then differentiate this thing here. Now this, we only need a big square bracket here. This is going to be a product. It's going to be big, and the, the t is going to be stuck at the end. Um, so... We write that formally. So we're taking the first term, we're differentiating the first part and leaving the second bit alone. And then we're adding on the first one, dy dt, left alone, times by the differential of the second thing. This t is still there, don't forget it. Now we can differentiate this. So dy dt differentiated is d2y dt squared. We've differentiated it twice now. Um, t is still there, and then dy dt is left alone, and we times by a differential of t, which is 1. Don't need to write in, but I will just so you can see that I've done it for the sake of this video. Okay, and now we times things out, so we're going to get d2y dt squared times by another t, and then times by this t, so it gives us t squared, and then here we've got dy dt, and then times by t which is great, bring this d2y dx squared down there, this is all the same equal sign, uh, and that gives us our other formula. Oh, and this is where it's going to get uh, long and out of, out of space, aren't we? This thing here, and this thing here, and this thing here can now be plugged into this equation, um, which isn't too bad. Um, it's always worth realising that sometimes ex is there because this x to the uh, ln t can be rewritten, um, x to the ln t can be written also as being e x to the t, right? So you might be able to sort of substitute things in faster. Um, won't really matter at the end of the day if you don't notice that, you just plug it in there, you'll still can think about the same thing. Let's put um, let's put these things into here now. Um, so we're starting with this d2y dx squared and plugging this thing in instead. So d2y dt squared times by t squared plus dy dt times by t, that's that first thing, then minus 
brackets 1 minus 6 e to the x which is t see if you had just put in the ln t you've just got e to the ln t which would still be t right so it wouldn't really matter if you hadn't noticed this and then dy dx so we need to replace that so dy dx is given by dy dt times by t yep okay and then just here we've got 10y definitely replacing because a y is not got an x in it then e to the 2x um, I suppose if we square this side we get e to the x so it'd be t squared again if you plugged in the uh, ln t here you get e to the 2 ln t and you put that 2 forward you get e ln t squared cancel that to be a t squared that's all equal to 5 uh, e to the 2x which is a t squared and sine 2 of e to the x and e to the x again is a t and you can kind of see what's going to happen here um, it's t squared in a lot of terms and those t squared um, will cancel out at the end and give us uh, this equation just here yeah um, so let's, uh, let's expand this bit here out and see how this bit's going to cancel and we're going to be left with this t squared that cancels out to do that, I'm just going to slide this page up so we've got more space to work with. Okay. So, um, next expand this guy out. So, d2y dt squared times by t squared plus dy dt times by t minus uh, 1 times by dy dt, so that's going to be 1 times dy dt times t, and then minus and minus which is plus uh, 6 t times t, which is t squared, uh, dy dt. Just double check, that's quite a lot going on. That is appeared in every term, good. Here I had 6t, I've still got 6t, I've got 2t squared, so that makes sense. Here the 1 means it's just going to be the same thing. And the minus sign means both these signs change. That plus sign is now minus and that minus sign is now plus. So I've done everything I need to do. Um, then I've got plus 10y t squared. And that is still equal to 5t squared times sine 2t. Keep going. So d2y dt squared times t squared plus dy dt t or minus dy dt t so that and that cancel out don't they plus 6 t squared dy dt plus 10y t squared it's equal to 5 t squared sine 2t and that means that t squared all cancel out as well I rewrote that line because it helps with the video. You can see this line and this line was crossing out. Uh, in practice, I probably will start just crossing things out here, right? Um, that gives me left over d2y dt squared uh, plus 6 dy dt plus 10y is equal to 5 sine 2t if I just ignore things that are crossed out. And that is what uh, we originally wanted. You can still see it just written just there, yeah? course now you can solve this um still quite a long question there because you've got to find the complementary uh function you've got to find the particular integral um and then you get a function for y in terms of t and then you would have to replace those things uh those t's for x's again at the end using the fact that t is equal to e to the x so this would be a, a very long question to give you to an exam um but it may happen uh good luck with practicing your substitutions for x